Hey guys, and welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to this installment of our food vlog. If you haven't already watched our other videos, please check out the links below. So today what we're gonna be making is an orange marmalade. Super delicious, super easy, great way to preserve food. So here we go. You're gonna start with about, you know, four oranges. I, I'm doing four. Um, it makes about a quart worth of marmalade. So get them all sliced up. You know, you want them about, I don't know, a, a fifth, a sixth of an inch, pretty thin. You know, you can see from the pictures how thin you want them. Um, don't go too thin or they might fall apart in the cooking process. So get all of that into a pot. From there, what you're gonna do uh, is boil them out. What that means is that you're going to submerge these in water twice and boil them twice. So submerge in water, bring to a boil, completely drain, and repeat a second time. What that does is it's going to remove a lot of the bitterness that you would otherwise get if you skip this step. Once you've done that, submerge the oranges again in water. It should be about three cups. You're gonna add an equal amount of sugar to that. So if you did three cups of water, you're gonna end up doing three cups of sugar. You wanna do a one-to-one -one ratio. Um, similar as making a simple syrup, same thing, one-to-one -one ratio of liquid to sugar. From there, you're going to slowly boil that down um, until it makes a really, really thick syrup. After you add the sugar, you can start adding other flavorings. I added a tablespoon of ground ginger. You could add a cinnamon stick, maybe some cloves, some allspice. With those, you'd obviously have to fish them out later, but the flavors would be delicious. So, you know, start cooking this down. It's gonna take some time. Cook this syrup pretty much all the way down to a really thick syrup. It's gonna take maybe 30 to 40 minutes on a medium, uh, medium low kind of boil. You don't want it boiling real hard, but a nice simmer. What's great with a process like this is that it adds shelf life to your, your food. The oranges, you know, have a pretty good shelf life, but by making a marmalade out of this, you're gonna allow for, you know, up to a month in the fridge if you do it in a canning process. Um, I'll put a link in a Google description for that. Uh, you can store this, you know, for several, several months. Um, it'll just allow you to have access to oranges, you know, in the future, and it allows you to not waste food, and it's, it's just a great, you know, thing to know how to do. Uh, so, you know, hopefully you enjoy doing this and can use it in the future. So once the liquid has really reduced to just a couple tablespoons, you want to fully cool the contents of, of, of your pot. So dump everything into a, a nice glass container like this. Let it completely cool to room temperature. Don't put it in the fridge. It might make it a bit hard to work with. The next step is a little bit sticky, a little bit messy. So room, te room temperature will do, um, but definitely, definitely let it cool all the way down. Um, like I said, this next step is gonna be messy. So maybe take this time while it's cooling to clean up everything else. So empty the cooled contents onto a cutting board and using one of your good sharp knives, just start chopping. It's gonna take some time, but you know, just chop until you get down to this consistency and you're done. You know, put it into your pork container, into your mason jar or whatever, store it away for later. Like I said, uh, marmalade is a good, fun, easy way to extend the shelf life of your produce. It's really delicious. It's a good technique to know. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely learn how to do this one. You know, we hope you've enjoyed these videos. We're doing it to help pass our time, help pass your time, stay connected with you guys. So please leave us comments, leave us suggestions of things to make, you know, any kind of food related questions you have, we'd love to hear them. We'd love to be able to answer them for you. So check the link in the description above, you know, to follow us and, uh, you know, leave comments below. And thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you next time.